Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mull for Monday the 12th of December. With Robert Murray McShane, one of the chapters we read is the first chapter of the prophet Haggai. He was um, prophesying in Jerusalem at a time when the first Babylon, uh, Babylonian exiles had returned and were settling and life was beginning to slowly be put back together. And in verse 2, we read the following. This is what the Lord Almighty says. These people say, the time has not yet come for the Lord's house to be built. Then the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai. Is it a time for you yourselves to be living in your paneled houses while this house remains a ruin? And as I read that, I thought, one can sort of understand where the people were coming from. Well, certainly I can, because in terms of procrastination, I'm fairly good. I'm, a, I'm a, an old hand at it. Um, but it does tend to be a human response. That we know we do need to do something, but it's not quite right now. And quite likely, when the uh, Israelites first returned, the, there were other priorities. Um, maybe they did have to get shelter for themselves, and so let's make sure we're covered so we don't uh, suffer and die because then we can't do anything and once we've got the houses sorted out we can begin on the lord's temple um and then maybe it was a case of well we need to get more material to build the lord's temple and we haven't got enough wood and there's this and there's that and it's it's so much like life where uh, it's easy to in a sense, kick the can down the road and wait and put off and delay and with the best intentions in the world. It's not that the people had said, we're not going to build a house for the Lord. That's not going to happen. It's we're going to, but just not now. And for me, that was a challenge because uh, so often I myself and I think a lot of people will say, yes, we're going to do this, but not today. <laughs> maybe tomorrow. Uh, maybe when the weather improves. Maybe when something's different. And there's a number of good reasons why I shouldn't do it now, um, why I should delay, get something. But sometimes we need to hear God saying, no, this is the time. And it seems the people had got to the point where they were actually making quite elaborate houses for themselves. And yet at the same time were able to justify um, delaying rebuilding the temple. And finally God said, no, 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 no. Get your priorities right. And so for me, it's a... It's an encouragement that God works with, with people that procrastinate. I'm relieved that he does. Uh, but also a challenge to say, make sure that we have our priorities right. Um, we do what is necessary, but we always keep God and his plans and purposes front and center. So um, be encouraged in your life. Uh, and maybe there's some things you need to stop putting off. Get on and do them, because now is the time. So be challenged. And as you rise to the challenge, you'll be blessed.